Hi guys, welcome back to my channel and again it's me again Mama RN. If you're just new in my channel, please like and subscribe. And for those naman na followers ko ever since, I know na may utang ako sa inyong um maraming talk, <laughs> maraming talk. So we are here in Cool Creek Park in Carmel. Ayan. Napakagandang lugar. So, nagmumuni-muni lang kami rito. Um, and so, upo tayo doon, no? Para pag-usapan natin. Um, I'm gonna share with you about the health informatics because, um, again, I've, as I've said, na from medical surgical, from med surge, lumipat na ako ng endoscopy. And, Prior that, syempre, nag-isip ako ng mga areas na sa tingin ko na um, gusto kong itry or baka sakaling um, makapasok tayo, no? Yung mga... So, bakit ako umalis sa med surge? Again, um, sabi ko sa inyo noon na I am really not sure if med surge is really my niche already or kung yun gusto kong gawin na unit up until I retire. So, um, again, just like sa sniff, time to time, I always assess myself is if this is the unit that I want to do for a long time. And, hindi ko siya naisip ever since. Hindi ko siya, hindi ko nakikita sarili ko na na Nahihirapan ako kung saan tayo mo Ayan. So, hindi ko siya naisip na magtatagal ako for, sa med surge hanggang sa medyo shumonda tayo. Parang hindi ko kakayanin. No? Parang masyadong antaas ng um, ng risk for burnout sa nurses sa med surge. But, um, I would say na having med surge experience is a big help na kung saan ka man pumuntang department, yung mga learnings mo, experiences mo sa med surge, ay maa-apply mo siya anywhere. No? Mapunta ka man sa special area. May unique kang mga skills na matututunan sa med surge na magiging helpful siya kung, ga kung lilipat ka ng ibang unit. Like, um, time management, um, communication, rapport with the patient, how to deal with difficult patients, um, clinical acumen mo with the patients. Aside dun sa mga learnings na yun, yung mga skills na matututunan mo, like basic skills um, ng isang nurse. Siyempre, ibang lugar na to, ba? Yung mga natutunan natin sa Pilipinas. Yun pa rin naman, unless nag-work ka sa isang high-end na hospital na na high-tech kasing level ng ng US, like St. Luke's, ganyan, baka medyo okay na sa'yo yun, yung learnings. But, for us na hindi, yung mga doon tayo sa era ng kopong-kopong, ba? Helpful na makapag-start ka sa med surge dito sa US. Like, um, yung machines, infusion pumps, skills, like yung mga drains, yung mga iba't ibang mga ginagawa. Yung mga ideal way, kumbaga, ba? Kasi sa, tayo sa Pilipinas, um, we are so resourceful. So, as much as possible, we would like to save a lot of resources um, na magagamit natin sa patients. Pero syempre, as much as yung meet halfway, eh, di ba? Yung wala tayong masyadong resources, pero kailangan natin ma ma-provide yung dapat na mag-provide sa pasyente. So, dito naman, ito yung medyo ideal way na tapon lang lahat, one, one time use lang lahat ng mga gamit, ba? Pero anyway, so, ayun, yun yung mga learnings ng med search na sinasabi ko na naging helpful din naman siya sa akin. Yun nga lang. Um, kaya, so, I've been in med search here for about a year. And talagang, in six months, ago na isip ko na it's tiring. Um, just like sniff and all, medyo nag-level up lang. Sniff rehab, nag-level up lang in terms of the complexity of the the cases, the types of patients and all. Um, but, yun nga, nag-level up lang na sniff rehab, si med surge. 
So, 6 months pa lang medyo naiisip ko na, ay parang hindi ako, hindi ito yung part na gusto ko. But, I have to gather all the experiences and learnings for about a year. Kasi gusto ko na in the span of year, before ako mag-decide na, okay, time to move, kailangan matutunan ko na lahat. Lahat ng mga hindi ko pa na-experience, talagang assertive ako na can I do this, do that, kahit alam mo yun. Kasi gusto ko na matutunan ko siya bago ako umalis sa med search, eh, nakuha ko na yung learnings na yun. Para ready naman ako to another new um, department. So anyways, so come one year um, after eh, doon na yung nag-peak na nakakasakit ako, ba? I mean, yung, yung, yung hormonal imbalance ko, yung condition ko, during the sniff time, eh, hindi naman siya nag-improve at all. So, yun na nga, dahil nga sa condition ko, eh, nag-improve naman konti, pero hindi pa rin masyado, and I've been doing night shift for a decade. So, isip ko na, so, naisip ko na, ayun na nga, na, okay, uh, enough na tayo dun sa learnings. Kasi nga, ba sabi ko nga sa inyo, kung if you are really my follower, I've, I've said this many times, na always, whenever you're doing something in, in, in a certain department or unit, you have to grasp all the learning. No? So, that's what I did. Um, when I feel na... I'm confident and comfortable for all the skills that I need to learn. I decided na, okay, it's time to move forward. Now, locate what's your niche. Ano yung gusto ko talagang, ano na, um, yung magtatagal na ako sa department. Yung gusto kong, ah, ito, kaya ko tong gawin for a long, long time. Okay? So, hindi, um, the big move is, hindi siya, it's not easy to decide. During those times, I don't even know what's my niche kasi you're not gonna be able to know it until you you've tried that department diba? so nag-research ako for like mga 2 to 3 months before my 1 year nag-research ako ng mga areas that I think I wanna try and I believe na pag ginawa ko siya hanggang maging masyonda ako can I do it still so Nag-list down ako eh nag nag nood ako ng mga YouTubes ng mga different nurses um, sharing that experience. Number 1 is the health informatics, no? So for those who are my followers, I've been in BPO ever since in the Philippines. So um, insurance, electronic utilization, any online type of or informatics type, I not something new to me. So, I'm not really scared to doing those kind of stuff. No. I also tried to think, so, hindi na ako masyado nag-research about the utilization kasi utilization is really my 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 experience even before. So, tinry ko lang siyang mag-apply, mag ako mag-apply dun sa before kong company. <laughs> so, tinry ko siya and in offer sa akin yung medyo mataas na position na role but hindi ko siya kinuha kasi the rate is not parang hindi siya worth it pa with the roles and responsibility that I will have for that company so hindi ko siya kinuha siguro probably pag hindi ko naman na masyadong kailangan ng pera baka yun sige pwedeng kunin na natin yung role na yun so naging X ko siya Next is um, the informatics. So, naging sobra akong um, interested with informatics because I've heard a lot of good things about it. No, But informatics is different with utilization for those who are very new in terms of um, remote work or utilization or yung mga online jobs for nurses. No? So, health informatics is very different in utilization. Health informatics is sila yung nasa hospital um, na nag assist or they are supporting um, different departments or the, the hospital itself in terms of say, system, software, 
na ginagamit. Okay, so yun yung mga na tutunan ko. And so, ayun nga, um, nag-reach out tayo sa health informatics namin. So, when you're working in a med surge, or anywhere probably, you will always receive any updates, warnings from health informatics teams. Okay, so I decided to reach out to them, you know, just um, asking questions about health informatics. Ayan. So, medyo natutunan ko na um, entry level, you don't need uh, masteral for for you to be in a health informatics. Um, kailangan mo lang maging super user. So, that's the only um, requirements that they have for you to be able to enter in an entry level sa health informatics. Be a super user in a, of a certain um, skills. Diba? Super user ng Cerner, Epic, ng mga system, super user ng mga pumps, mga ganyan. So, any machine, systems, ganyan, you need to be a super user. Yun daw yung number one na na magiging edge mo for you to enter health informatics. Again, you don't need to have masteral unless you want to be a director in the future for health informatics, which you can um, do it while you're doing um, the entry level of health informatics, or they call it um, informaticist. Ayan. So, they said that um, being health, uh, working in a health informatics, you always um, find solution to make or improve um, workflow, workaround systems, um, software. If you have, if or if you think of um, anything or any ways na you want something to improve for the benefit of, say, nurses, doctors, and so and so forth. Okay. Say example, um, may workaround kayo ng, say, sa Cerner, na it takes you a while, um, say, charting-wise, ganyan, no? And it's either the nurses will raise it to the, inf uh, the team health informatics, or ikaw as informaticist, you will find um, problems or challenges, issues, concerns sa hospital na ikaw ang magbe-bridge from the clinicals clinical side to the um, IT itself dun sa talagang mga developers na like engineers um, ITs diba, na hindi mo na scope yung mag-develop ng software, mag-improve ng ganito ikaw yung mag e-explain ng clinic from clinical to the IT okay for dun sa technology na gusto mong i-improve so that's the health informatics um remote lang siya they work monday to friday sometimes um pwedeng on site pwedeng remote it depends on which hospital kanya minsan meron din kayong um visitation sa mga department ng yun nga, kung ano yung mga support na kailangan nila ganyan um, we often see a lot of informaticists um, sa floor um, asking like say may mga bago silang implementation was it helpful to them diba? yun yung naging role ng health informatics and if ikaw yung introvert na nurse I don't think na magiging <laughs> Well, pwede pa rin naman, pero um, huwag yung isipin na health informatics is purely like remote, na you're not gonna be able to talk to anyone. No. So, sometimes you'll be able to still um, speak with the charge nurses, managers, clinicals, in, in clinical settings, or doctors. Kasi nga, ikaw yung pangkalahatan ba? It depends on which department. So, yun yung um, na-explain sa akin. No? So, I try to apply. However, um, super user is being offered not on a regular basis. So, I was not able to do any super user um, courses or programs. Kaya, wala tayong maipakita na ganun. Okay, so, um, 
dun pa lang sa initial ng ano initial interview ko with with the recruitment for the same hospital that I work with um yun nga so even though I have experiences with in terms of quality department or quality process improvement kanyan um being the super user of a specific accounts or specific um programs is a big big help talaga if makikipag-compete ka with other nurses who are really super users of different kinds of um, programs na or skills nga, di ba? So, ayun ang health informatics natin um, with utilization, utilization management, workers' comps is very different with health informatics. Um, health informatics is hospital-based pa rin or any facility-based which you are supporting um, to help improve on process, um, systems, and all. With utilization, you work with insurances. You work in terms of claims management, case management, um, reviewing things, in terms of um, patient cases. So that's the difference of the two. And um, rate-wise, here in Indiana, the average rate for the health informatics was like kind of low, um, 60, 65 to 74,000 annual. So, hin so hindi siya masyadong ka eh, kung pera yung magiging um, basis mo eh hindi siya masyadong enticing unless um, you go for masteral and you want to be a director of health informatics that that's the only way for you to get more um, pay um, in terms of utilization again um, when I applied for for a quality auditor kasi again I have experiences in a quality department um, in utilization I was offered actually for a uh, director of quality department but again the pay is not um, worth it for being the director versus the amount of pay na they offered so kaya hindi ko siya ginrab um, but again for the for the utilization it's still not as much as you can get in the hospital kasi there's no OT um, salaried or pwede per hour pero ranging kasi siya ng higher than health informatics naman ranging siya ng 70 to 78 thousand annual okay um nurses here in indiana on average they can get you can get as high as 80 plus thousand annual um but for the lesser experience you can only get um on average like 70s 70,000 annual so kung ikaw compare mo yon na um, doing the remote versus the hospital base on bedside with the same amount of the pay or lesser ng konte sa bedside still di ba you wanna try bedside pa rin. so naging ekis yung mga remote work natin okay so yun lang so yun lang ang ating um, sharing about health informatics and utilization management again um, you don't need to have experience in health informatics so long that you are a super user um, sa hospital or bedside. They they need they need you to have one to two years of experience in med surge or anywhere in the hospital department, and then you need to be a super user for you to enter the health informatics entry level. And then if you want to, do, to be a director of health informatics, that's the time that they will require you to do your masteral. But you don't need to do masteral or any courses to, to enter health informatics. Okay, so, yun lang ang ating topic for that, and let's move on to the next. See ya!